Meanwhile, as House Democrats look to extend the Enhanced Unemployment Benefit Program through January, critics argue that the $600 a week extra payment incentivizes Americans not to return to work. One senator says he has a different plan, which he hopes can bridge the two sides. For more on the path forward for American workers, I'm now joined by Senator Rob Portman of Ohio. Senator, welcome. Hey, Kelly, thanks for having me on. So your proposal would give people an extra $450 a week if they go back to work? The idea is to have a bonus. Right now, uh, as we just saw with your stock market report, the economy is starting to reopen, and that's good. But to have a robust economic recovery that we all want, we've got to encourage people to go back to work. So how right now the uh, $600 a week extra goes through, I believe, the end of July. Uh, That's correct. How would your proposal work? And and how would you know, explain if this were rolled out, what it would mean, practically speaking, to every American who transfers from being on jobless benefits to maybe accepting a job or or going back to work? Well, well, first, let me just be sure people understand that under the current system, according to a recent study by the University of Chicago and American Action Forum, 60 to 70 percent of the people on unemployment today are making more than they did in their prior job. Uh, for the bottom 20 percent of wage earners, they're making on average double what they made in the workforce. So what I'm hearing from small business folks all around the state of Ohio is, hey, we're getting ready to you know, start to hire some people and, and we, we'd like to reopen, but we're having a tough time uh, getting our employees to, to come back and, and to find new employees. So the idea here is not to say that people shouldn't be getting help if they lost their job uh, and through no fault of their own. A lot of people did. But instead to say, hey, if you're on unemployment insurance and um, – you want to go back to work, you can get a bonus to do that. So our bonus at $450 comes out of the $600 per week. And the idea is that that $450 is enough to make it, uh, you know, fair for people who are uh, on minimum wage, as an example. The $450 is based on the average minimum wage to make sure that you're even, that you're not making more or less if you go back to work. So others have said it should be $200. Some have said it should be $600. But the point is, to have a bonus to go back to work, which helps everybody, helps the worker, helps yeah. the small businesses, and helps the taxpayer because you're saving probably $40 billion a year just at the federal and state level just between now and the end of July. Meanwhile, there's a discussion uh, about potentially the a different way. So uh, as I understand it, Democrats say they might consider uh, keeping the sunset of the extra benefits if in exchange uh, they can do a wage subsidy, an employee tax credit to keep people on payrolls. Uh, would you sign up for a plan like that um, if that is what's offered in exchange? If, it, if it's like, hey, we don't, you know, we're not going to do the extra 450 a week bonus for going back to work, but we will do some kind of wage subsidy. Well, we'll, we'll I'm willing to take a look at anything that gets people back to work. You know, I think that we need to provide incentives for work. And again, what I'm hearing from small businesses here in Ohio is they're starting to get moving again, but they're having a tough time getting workers. And the employment situation is is going to be key to getting this economic recovery going. The workplace needs to be safe. That's that's for sure. And, and our program would be optional. It's not something people uh, would be required to take. It, it would be something I think a lot of people would take advantage of. But we, we can't have what the Democrats are proposing, which is in the Nancy Pelosi Pact uh, passed uh, HEROES Act, the three trillion dollar plus bill. It says that the additional six hundred dollars per week at the federal level which, again, means that 60 to 70 percent of people are making more than they did in their prior job, that that would continue into next year. Uh, I I think that's not in the interest of our economic growth we all want to see and getting this recovery going again. It's not in the interest of workers because you want to get people back to work. Everyone should want that. That's where people generally get their health care. That's where people get their retirement. Uh, That's where people get the the meaning in in their life and the dignity and self-respect that comes from work. So we should all be working toward that end. One final question, Senator, which is about the uncertainty kind of in the back half of this year and into next year about the economy. You know, I could see the case for there being some kind of enhanced unemployment benefits if, for example, some restaurants that are open right now, maybe due in part to some government aid, end up shutting their doors, you know, and all of a sudden it's September or October. I mean, or even 2021. Is there a case to be made for saying we will provide some enhanced unemployment benefits if you end up losing your job basically because of the pandemic, but it happens because the shoe drops a little bit later than, you know, right during the shutdowns the first time around. Yeah, that's certainly something for, for Congress to, to, to take a look at and, and for the administration to watch carefully. But I think the more likely scenario is you know, the economy starts to take off and there's a lot of uh, pent-up demand right right now. There's a lot of opportunity for growth, obviously. We're, we're 
you know, we're, we're in a tough situation, worse probably than in our history, except the Great Depression in terms of unemployment numbers. So I think, I think the more likely scenario is there, there, there will be opportunities for people to go back to work. And I think with the increased testing and with more antiviral medication uh, and with more PPE available, the pr protective gear, I think it's going to be safer and better as, as we move along. We could have, um, you know, another outbreak, but I think this time we'll be much better prepared for the virus should, should there be in the fall or into the winter, as some have suggested, the possibility of, uh, of this uh, virus, you know, raising its ugly head again. We'll, yeah. we'll have the ability to respond quickly. So I think that's the more likely scenario. And let's be sure that we have the workforce to be able to make that happen. All right. Senator Rob Portman, thanks for your time this afternoon. Thank you, Kelly. Appreciate Detailing his plan for back-to-work bonuses. Coming up, 